and the great things that HaKadosh Baruch Hu does, <coughs> especially on Shabbat, to remember how Hashem created the world from something from nothing. But we have to realize that the Gemara tells us in Sechet Ha'anit, in the end of the Masechet, that in the future, they all will stand and sit around in a circle, pointing towards HaKadosh Baruch Hu in the middle of the circle, saying, this is Zeke Riva Anveo, this is my God and I will adorn him, this is my God, and they will be able to have uh, this realization, this closest to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, with the crowns on their heads, the Gemara says. So therefore, what, what does this mean? This means that the, according to the level and munai you have in this world, is the more understanding and the more reward you will get in Olam Abba. Which means to say, where is these crowns? The Rambam explains these crowns as the crown of Da'at, of understanding of Hashem. If you go to, I don't know, get a fine wine. You don't understand anything of wines, right? You get a nice whiskey. <clears throat> he tells you, oh, $2,000 bottle of whiskey. You don't know anything about whiskey. You never tasted a uh, difference between them. You don't know what's what. And he gives it to you. You think, okay, what's the big deal? You see the guy next to you. Wow, shh, unbelievable. And the, uh, I don't understand what's the big deal. You, a steak. You don't go to a steakhouse. You don't know the difference between two steaks. This guy is enjoying. He's a connoisseur. And he knows and he's enjoying it. And you're like, that's a big deal. It's just a steak. I don't get it. So therefore, because you don't have the knowledge, because you don't understand and don't appreciate it, so therefore when you go there, it's not going to be as appealing to you. So therefore, a person, when he gets a knowledge of Hashem, and Emunah, and Da'at, so when he goes to Olam Abba, and he has the experience of godliness that he wasn't able to get in this world, even Nevi'im, who were prophets, they were ne never able to see the reward of Olam Abba. They don't even have any, they can't even fathom what's going to be the revelation of Hashem in the world to come. But what? According to how much you grow here, and according to how much Emunah you have over here, how much Da'at, knowledge you have of Hashem here, that's what you're going to experience in Olam Abba. So therefore, it's worth it. The person has to know, after all the hard work, at the end of the day, it's worth it. Chaval to the people who don't believe in Olam Abba, that they work so hard, and you make so much money, you work, like say, 60 years, 50 years of your life, you leave it all for your children, and you're old, and people have to take care of you, and what, what do you live for already? Well, at the end of the day, you enjoy, you enjoy, you suffered more than you enjoyed. This world is more suffering than enjoyment, because it's meant to be for work, not for it to enjoy. And what, if you don't believe in Olam Abba, so what was everything worth it for? It's better, what's the point of getting married, and having all these kids, and working so hard, and all, getting all this money, and in the end, giving it to somebody else, and I have to be in a nursing home. What was it worth all that? But if you say, it's for Olam Abba, and I'm going to enjoy from all the hard work I did for my Muna, and the amount of uh, Musar I learned, the Gemara I learned, the uh, Torah I learned, Halakha I learned, now I'm going to enjoy the closest to Hashem because I appreciate and understand a little bit of what Hashem is. So therefore it's worth it. The Olam Abba is going to be something very special. Something that a person is going to be looking for. Something that a person is going to be willing to work hard for. So therefore, he says that a person will experience a greater, greater enjoyment and appreciation of HaKadosh Baruch Hu when he goes to Olam Abba after he, he acquires Emunah and works hard for it here. But you have to work for it. You have to do, like King David says, like how people search for money and people make phone calls and people run around and people say, do you know somebody? Do you know somebody? Oh, do you have this deal? Do you have this product? Do you have that? He goes back and forth trying to buy and sell, ship it. He goes to the shipping place, ships it. He's on the phone for hold for hours trying to figure it out. In the middle of the night, he gets the answers, phone calls for jobs. That's how you have to go and find Haimunad. You have to look, look, look for it for like money. You see how people go searching for, for the Titanic? They went in the little submarines, uh, you know, like all squished up, going deep into the ocean. They go on adventures like Indiana Jones. He goes to go and find the hidden treasure. That's how a person has to go and search and, and push himself and try to make an effort to acquire uh, Yirat Hashem. As Tavin Yirat Hashem, says Mishlei. King Solomon says, if you understand it, then if you understand to look for it like this, then you understand the fear of Hashem. But what? But uh, it's hard work. It's hard work, but it's able It's able to be done. Where are you going to go and get this imuna? How can you acquire this imuna? Okay, Rabbi, where do I go? I want to find it. I want to search it. Where do I search it? Where do I start? Where's the dig site? Where's the, where's the, where's the X on the map? Where do I get it? He says, the uh, Miller is, is in Kolel. You have to go to Kolel. You have to go to Yeshiva. Yeshiva is where people get acquire knowledge and they acquire Torah and they acquire Yerat Shamayim. But that's if you're young and single. What if you're married already? So you have to go to Kolel. What does Kolel mean? You have to go to Kolel in the morning, Kolel in the evening. You have to go to the Gemara class. You have to go to Alacha class. You have to go to Musa class. You have to go in the morning, in the evenings, too, in the afternoon, whenever you can, to Shul. To Shul, but not just Shul. You have to go, not just pray Mihar Vichachrit. You have to go and do Kolel, which means you have to learn. There has to be a rabbi, shiur, teaching, learning, charuta. This is where a person acquires it. Every day, step by step, another another, another lesson, another idea, another Yad Shamayim. And that's how a person builds and builds and builds. And eventually, you get there. But what? 
It's not enough just that. You also have to have the right environment. Adam says Rambam. Adam nimshach memasav achareav A person he is drawn along with the people who he associates with. So therefore, even if you learn, you have to make sure your friends are good. And whoever you go shish kebab with, you have to make sure they also are on the same level as you, emunah wise. Because you could go and learn and learn and learn. You go to shish kebab, people will drink over there and they'll spew all this nonsense that they say and they'll affect you and you'll, they'll bring you down and you're a big tzaddik and then afterwards, has shalom, as there was a story where there was a person running in the street. Everybody was saying, where is he running to? And they started running, chasing him. And more and more people started running and what? Everybody, the whole street was packed of people chasing this guy, running with this guy, and everybody says, why are we running? When well, nobody knows why we're running. And therefore, if you'll notice, a lot of those friends, it could be they're running. They don't know themselves, don't know why they're running. And what? It'll make you hazard don't run with them. You don't even know yourself why you're running also. So therefore, a person has to know, your environment will affect you. You should learn, and you should be the leader, and they will follow you. Baruch Hashem.